Hello, I'm very glad to see you again, and thank you so much for all the wonderful comments I have been getting. I'd like to read the 10 top countries for this channel for this week, which are the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, Mexico, India, Brazil, Vietnam, Saudi Arabia, Canada, and Russia. Thank you. Dank. Gracias. Daniwat. Obrigado. Kabul, Shakara, Maxi, Spasiwa. Thank you to all of you and all the rest. Today, I'm going to draw an angel for you. I start by sketching the shape of the skull and then I draw some features. I am not going to make this tutorial as academic as other times. This is going to be more like a free drawing. I am going to pretend nobody's watching and I'll draw the way I will normally do it in my studio. It is worth mentioning that I hadn't drawn since two days ago and that I didn't warm up before starting. No pianist would ever dream of arriving and delivering a concert without priorly warming up with scales and all of that. Neither a tennis player would ever think of arriving to a court and playing a game without warming up and before fine-tuning the service and his strokes. How on earth can an artist arrive and start drawing and video recording the drawing to publish it to half the world without priorly warming up and fine-tuning with enough sketches? I was cold, roasted and felt so stiff. The result is that I committed several mistakes and I had to erase and redo that face about three times. It took me a little while to start loosening it up and for things to start coming right. So the moral of the story is draw every day and before doing a significant drawing, warm up with enough sketches. Okay, a lot of people ask me how to draw hands. First, I outline a flat shape. Make sure it is of the right size and proportion before getting into the details like making the fingers. I often make a line where the knuckles go, that is, where the fingers are going to fold. So I sketch the outline and in this particular case I didn't actually draw the knuckles line but I did visualize it before drawing the fingers. Then, if the hand looks correct, I give it more and more detail. Finally, I start shading. For this, I use a 2B LED and a 6B for the very darks. For sketching and for the light shadows, I am using an H. I shade little by little to render the volumes. This is almost like sculpting the shapes. I smudge the graphite with a soft synthetic brush. I make my way by shading and giving more detail. I am shading in different directions for a more uniform result. I delineate some specific parts that I want to stand out. As I go, I continue correcting whatever needed, 
especially the mishaps for having started with a cold hand and with a rusty eye. But by now I totally loosened up and I am enjoying it more and more. If she's going to be an angel, she needs wings. I first sketch the outline and then some feathers in rows. To break up monotony, I'm going to make a missing feather. And I give it a fairly even background, which I then smudge with the brush. And with the kneaded eraser, I pull some lights. This gives nice volumes. I use the graphite powder from when I sharpened the leads to charge the brush and so darken the background. I go over the figure as well to integrate it and over the wings to give them a tone. This allows me to give light accents to some feathers. I then smudge and integrate them with the brush. And then I re-establish the lights on the face and the body. I refine some details. Remember to use a clean paper so you don't get your hand and the drawing dirty. Okay, I would love to know what do you think about it? If it was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. You know where to follow me and where are the links. See you next Tuesday.